People often ask me what is the best thing about MPC, and uh, truly our treasured resource is the quality of our faculty and staff. Their genuine care for students. This is a caring community. At MPC commencement just a few days ago, there was a statement, a very true statement, that MPC is not a factory pushing out students. They work individually with every student, and every student matters. From my very first English class when I stepped onto this campus, everybody said, you can do it, I know you can. Because I'm not the native speaker, I need lots of help. Professors and instructor is fabulous here. They make sure you're on track. Trust me, they, they will make sure you're on track. I took several different classes that at first were part of my general education, but then through the passion of the teachers, I found something that I was passionate about too. One advantage to coming back to MPC is being able to re-hone things that I've already learned. Monterey Peninsula College has offered a lot of opportunities and it's the best decision I've made in my life to come here. The MPC really made me feel welcome, made me feel like I, you know, I belonged here, made me feel like I was a part of something bigger. We both had our last final at MPC yesterday. I got teary-eyed leaving the classroom. It's emotional. It is. I feel proud to be a student from the MPC. I'm putting out homework that I graded. So that's all going to be Many here. people are aware of the need to bring more students into the areas of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And students coming to MPC get a great start in choosing those majors. Well, this is one of the top community colleges in California. So I decided to come here and study engineering. I really like calculus. I, I know, it's really weird. I really like calculus, and programming is really neat, too. I'd really like to go to NYU. But wherever I end up, I at least know I'm doing something I enjoy. I was, was taking the biology major series. I was interested in the field of genetics, and I came across a summer internship at the National Institute of Health in Maryland. Dr. Durstenfeld sat down with me numerous <laughs> weekends in a row writing letters why I wanted this internship. And a month later, a genetic counselor asked me to come and do a summer internship shadowing her. The highlight in my letter was my experience at MPC. One of the things that's unique about community colleges is that students from all walks of life can come here, but many students can't come here if they don't have help. So the foundation provides scholarships, we pay for textbooks, and we even have an emergency assistance fund that helps students facing financial hardship. When I was seven years old, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. Shortly after that, my dad lost his job. There were a couple of times we were just days away from being homeless now. I won Pister's $20,000 scholarship to UC Santa Cruz. It was really actually emotional for me. I was really overwhelmed. The Pister scholarship goes to people who have shown academic excellence through hardships. And having been a scientist, a practicing scientist, I know that people who learn to stretch their mind and stretch their perspectives, that type of mental development that can happen through training in the arts, see things from different perspectives and with greater imagination. So we're adding the arts to the equation. But instead of STEM being the acronym, we're looking at STEAM. I used to build museum exhibits. I did this for the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. It's, it's difficult to find position out here for something that specific. Since I'm away from work, um, I'm not acquiring the skills. You keep in shape when you're working on a job. Yeah, I put it on Division. six divisions last MPC time. has a very nice little artist community within it, and it has a 3D printing class. So when I go back into the job market, I can very easily say, oh yeah, I've had experience with that. My first semester here at MPC, the campus services all kind of worked together for me coming in from out of the area, and just by making my bubble and my my um, my vision bigger. We talked last week. I'm originally from the East Coast, and uh, I've been in a uh, couple different group homes and a couple different foster homes. It was pretty hard, but um, it's like anything in life; it's just another hoop you got to jump through. Well, my major is music, and the way I like to put it is through music, messages are transferred that you can't transfer through just talking. It truly really is the universal language. I, I want to help the next generation of foster youth coming up. That's definitely what I want to do with my life. 
So what are the important assessments you want to be sure to learn? MPC exists as a strong college because of the great support we have from our community partners. One example is our partnership with the Community Hospital of Monterey Peninsula. Their foundation, our foundation, together fund the nursing program. When I was 18, I wasn't sure what direction I wanted to go, and then coming to MPC led me to nursing. In the beginning, I was taking anatomy and physiology and microbiology. I have recorded all of the lectures, and to this day, I still listen to them when I'm driving around in my car. <laughs> this coming Saturday, I'll be graduating with my RN degree. Sometimes, in most cases, your relationship will have... Will One thing I do love about MPC is TRIO. TRIO is a program for first-generation or low-income students. They put you on a two-year path to make sure you transfer. They want to know what you want to do with your life. I love talking, and so I signed up for communications because I intend on specializing in broadcasting. And I have started looking into scholarships and making sure my GPA is at the level it needs to be and I will be transferring next spring. I know that you've expressed an interest in political life. When I first started MPC, I was a completely different person. Very introverted for one thing, and, and MPC provided that kind of opportunity to grow. I'm a second generation Mexican-American. You know, my parents made the effort of coming to the United States, so a lot was riding on my shoulders to be the first person to graduate college. I want to get into public policy, and the university that I want to attend is UC Davis. It took me a while to find myself, but I couldn't land it in a better place. After high school, I came to MPC, and Coach Bates was really surprised with how well I did, especially because of my size. I mean, that's always a problem with me. First thing I get from people is, you're so small. But basketball is a game of mental tricks. It's just being crafty and being small, I'm usually quicker than a lot of the other girls. It's always been a dream of mine to play at a university and I have a full ride scholarship. I'm going to San Francisco State to play basketball. And so we have everything from students coming here to move on and transfer to the other end of the spectrum of just getting started and increasing skills in basic academic areas. We have people who are homeless, living in their vehicles, coming to college. We have students who got a 4.6 in high school and know exactly where they want to go. And then we have students who have no idea yet. College education, a college degree, doesn't depreciate in value. You can't lose it, you can't squander it on the stock market. It stays with you forever. And you're giving someone something that isn't just going to help them today. This is setting a student up for life. And you're helping the entire community when you're helping to educate people.